Have you ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor in the many loves of Dobie Gillis was your favorite? Or perhaps, when was the first time you watched this iconic TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage with some interesting random facts about the show. The many loves of Dobie Gillis graced our television screens in 1959 offering a delightful glimpse into the life of a young man named Dobie Gillis and his romantic escapades. Created by Max Shulman, the series introduced viewers to the comical trials and tribulations of Dobie, played by Dwayne Hickman, as he navigated the challenges of adolescence and sought the affections of his various crushes. The show featured memorable characters like the beatnik Maynard G. Krebs, portrayed by the talented Bob Denver, and captured the essence of American youth in the late 1950s. With its humor and relatable themes, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis quickly became a beloved classic. So, tell us, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts, and let's celebrate the enduring charm of the many loves of Dobie Gillis together. The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, a 1959 TV series, has an interesting connection to other popular shows. One notable fact is that Davy Gillis, Dobie Gillis' older brother in three season one episodes, was played by Daryl Hickman, who is Dwayne Hickman's real-life older brother. Additionally, this series had a significant influence on the creation of the Hanna-Barbera cartoon Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Characters like Fred Jones, Velma Dinkley, Daphne Blake, and Norville Shaggy Rogers were based on Dobie Gillis and other characters from the show. Lastly, there's a little inside joke in the show regarding the teacher's name, Pomfret, which is a nod to the beloved teacher in the film Goodbye, Mr. Chips. These intriguing connections add a layer of depth to the legacy of the many loves of Dobie Gillis, making it an essential part of television history. The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, a 1959 TV series, is an American classic that brought to life the adventures of a young man named Dobie Gillis. Among the interesting facts about the show, one stands out. The pilot episode marked the first professional acting gig for Bob Denver, who later became famous for his role as Maynard G. Krebs. Before his acting career, Denver had been a grade school teacher and a postal worker. His sister, a casting agent's secretary, played a role in getting him considered for the part of Maynard G. Krebs. This fact highlights the unique journey that led to the creation of a beloved character and the success of the many loves of Dobie Gillis. Article The occupation of Dobie's father was different in each of the short stories upon which the series was based. In the series, his job was locked in as a grocer. This 1959 TV series, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, revolved around the life of a young man named Dobie and his adventures as he pursued love and success. Dobie's father's occupation as a grocer was a constant in the show, providing a stable backdrop for the various escapades and romantic misadventures that unfolded throughout the series. While the show featured many humorous situations and colorful characters, the consistent presence of Dobie's father in the grocery business added a familiar element to the story, highlighting the generational gap and the clash of values between Dobie and his dad. The series was known for its witty and relatable take on the challenges of youth, love, and growing up in America during the late 1950s. Dobie's father's role as a grocer may have been locked in for the TV series, but it served as a reliable anchor for the many humorous situations and moral lessons that Dobie encountered along the way. With its memorable characters and humorous escapades, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis remains a classic representation of American teenage life in the late 1950s. In the mid-1950s, a TV series called The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis made its debut, focusing on the adventures of a young man named Dobie Gillis. The show was notable for its casting choices. Although the characters were teenagers, Dwayne Hickman, who played Dobie, was 24, and Bob Denver, who portrayed his friend Maynard G. Krebs, was 23 when they filmed the pilot in 1958. This age difference was quite a contrast to their on-screen roles as high school students. One interesting fact about Dwayne Hickman's involvement in the show was the change in his appearance. To distinguish Dobie Gillis from another character Dwayne Hickman played on The Bob Cummings Show, the producers decided to have Hickman dye his dark brown hair blonde. 
They were concerned that sponsors might confuse the two characters, even though they were on different shows with different sponsors. Unfortunately, this constant bleaching of his hair caused Hickman to experience hair loss and scalp blisters. After appealing to the producers, he was allowed to stop bleaching his hair after the first season. The many loves of Dobie Gillis provided a platform for a memorable character named Zelda played by Sheila James. A pilot for a spin-off series centered around Zelda was produced in 1962. However, it was rejected by CBS due to the critique that the character was considered too butch. This judgment deeply affected Sheila James, who, at the time, was a closeted lesbian. Under her real name, Sheila Kuehl, she later pursued a career in law and politics. She eventually became the first openly gay person elected to the California State Assembly, and later a California State Senator. And that's a brief look into some interesting aspects of the 1959 TV series The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. In the 1959 TV series The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, a notable twist occurred during the production of the fourth episode, The Big Sandwich. Bob Denver, who played the character Maynard G. Krebs, was drafted into the army. As a result, the character Maynard was written out of the series in the episode Maynard's Farewell to the Troops. Michael J. Pollard was cast to play Maynard's cousin Jerome Krebs, intending to assume Maynard's role in future episodes. However, things took a turn when Denver failed his army physical and was rejected by the draft board. After filming two episodes with Pollard, the decision was made to rehire Denver and write Maynard back into the series. Interestingly, Pollard had signed a play or pay contract, which meant he was paid for all 30 episodes he had been signed for upon his dismissal. This unexpected turn of events created a unique story behind the scenes of the show, demonstrating the challenges and changes faced by the production during its run. Notably, actors William Shallert and Jean Byron, who frequently appeared on the series as various teachers of Doby, went on to play Patty Duke's parents in the later sitcom, The Patty Duke Show. This connection showcases the interwoven nature of the television industry during that era. These behind-the-scenes happenings shed light on the dynamic and ever-changing nature of television production in the late 1950s, providing a glimpse into the challenges and decisions made during the creation of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the world of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on the personal connection you may have forged with this iconic 1959 TV series. This show was a time capsule, a glimpse into the past, and a reminder of the universal experiences of youth, love, and the quest for individuality. Whether you found yourself rooting for the endearing Dobie, relating to the mischievous beatnik Maynard, or secretly harboring a soft spot for the elusive Zelda, the series offered a cast of characters that still resonates with viewers today. Now, it's your turn to share your cherished memories, favorite episodes, or insightful thoughts about the many loves of Dobie Gillis. What made this show special to you? Did it reflect your own experiences growing up, or did it transport you to a different era entirely? We'd love to hear your stories and insights as they add a unique layer to the rich tapestry of this classic television series. Your thoughts and memories are a testament to the enduring appeal of this show. We invite you to join the conversation and relive the magic of the many loves of Dobie Gillis with fellow enthusiasts. Thank you for sharing this journey with us and for your time and interest in the timeless world of Dobie Gillis. Keep those memories alive, and remember, there's always more to explore in the world of classic TV. Until next time, this is your friendly AI companion, signing off. Keep the nostalgia alive.